He's been with you since the very beginning of your journey in Meta Route S, and even in high-end meta, his parts are still incredibly valuable to the rookie player and the veteran alike. His KXK0 Cross Messiah regraded with a kit of Full Charge, Charge Buster, Charge Blade, Biped Legs, and a Leg Ability of Guts, which buffs his Shoot and Melee Resist by about 10% or so when Metaforce Charge is at 100%. Now when it comes to Metaforce Reliant Nukers, as well as being a hybrid mix between Melee and Shooting, you really can't get any better than Cross Messiah in this case, because he has such well balanced between using Full Charge and of course having damage bonuses on both his arms. Full Charge, going over it briefly, will simply sap his head HP up uh, down to about 50% when fully capped, but also push his Metaforce Charge Gate all the way up to 100%. This makes it, a, this makes it so any particular uh, Metaforce Reliant nuking parts, such as Beam Sword, Hyper Beam, Ghost, these essentially you can use from right, right from turn 2 onwards at the highest possible damage that they can offer, uh, without having to waste turns charging or break parts just to use it as a finisher and essentially waste it. Or, in some case, you can even use it as a quick use, as, as a quick abuse of Metaforce if there's one that you absolutely have to get on the field in order to, to serve as a linchpin for any strategies. Right Arm of Charge Buster is a more or less a somewhat conventional shooting skill uh, that simply, uh, upon use, will consume a small amount of charge, but you also will get a damage bonus relative to the percentage of your charge upon firing. Left Arm of Charge Blade is more or less the same thing, but instead, of it, but instead it's, an, but it's a melee-based skill instead of a shooting one. Biped Legs, of course, also give Cross a very solid coverage on most terrains, and the Guts ability honestly does tie in very nicely uh, with Full Charge, meaning even if he has sapped head HP with no healer on the team, the Guts ability does guarantee that Cross is going to be just a little bit harder to take down because his, resist, his resistance to shooting attacks and melee attacks um, goes up just a little bit. And just as a reminder as well when it comes to his shoot and melee resist, Cross's legs are one of the few in the game where they are actually balanced basically one to one. So that extra 10% really will come in handy if you are choosing to use him or his legs pretty much anywhere as pure set or mixed parts. For his tune-up features, Cross also definitely got the better end of the stick when it comes to getting the possible upgrades available to him. In the case with his head, he has access to plus 50 to heat or cool, a charge reduction requirement of minus 20%, and an additional head use. Now for full charge users like, like Cross Messiah, this is a major game changer. As, whereas if you pair off the 20% reduction, means instead of taking 50%, full charge will only take 30%. In addition to this, the extra head use allows Cross theoretically either to fire off Metaforce twice, or he can fire off a Metaforce, use Full Charge a second time, and then proceed to nuke everybody else with whatever effects that his first Metaforce gave him. Right Arm has a bonus uh, up to bonuses of plus 100 to power, plus 50 to heat or cool, and damage plus a charge modifier of plus 50% of whatever he has charged. Naturally, that kind of goes without saying since both of his arms have access to this very same buff. In this case, whereas if he's using a full charge, he's at 100% charge and you fire off Charge Buster or Charge Blade, this means at 100% he is instead going to be dealing a 150% uh, damage multiplier even upon use of the, 10, of, of the 5% consumption when using either of these arms. And that being said, also the power bonus is definitely something to capitalize on. As being honest, the plus 50 to heat and cool really isn't super great and not really something that you'll notice very obviously on the field if you do choose to go after either of these upgrades. For Cross's legs, he honestly had a lot of really good multiplier, uh, really good upgrades that were offered to him in this case. Armor plus 200 simply means that his already tanky legs are something that can take more of a hit without, be without being broken very easily. But the biggest change here, one of the two biggest changes, is his shoot and melee resist get a natural passive plus 200, uh, which makes his already tanky legs even better. And then if you pair the guts ability on top of that, you're more or less going into tank, uh, tank leg category at that point, which allows Cross's legs to stand up with the big dogs, such as, say, Particle, um, Artemis, Grain, any of those high-end biped legs that we're getting in recent that are basically akin to tanks, Cross's legs can now stand stand with those when fully charged. And in addition to being fully charged, his leg ability of Guts 
also adds an additional 20 or so 20 to 30 percent ability multiplier which means instead of getting a plus 10 percent that he gets on full charge he'll be getting a maximum of up to 40 percent which if you pair this with the melee resist means even with sapped head hp cross is going to be almost impossible to take down within one or two turns because he is going to be tanky as all get out which will really capitalize on that extra bone on that extra resistance and allows cross to stay on the field longer without getting crippled and then last but not least the s terrain the s rank on prairie terrain also is nice but since he already has a rank on it it really isn't a very valuable um upgrade in this opinion now with his original pure set and mixed parts score i had to rate him at a very solid 7 and a 9 out of 10 um, for his incredible balance across the board Full charge you can honestly use anywhere very easily and Cross's kit as a whole is actually very well rounded as your general Metaforce fighter, especially early on since he is literally your starter. You get him out the gate when you first start playing. The only major weaknesses Cross has is if you're using him at low rank, which is relatively easy to overcome, albeit somewhat expensive since he is starting at a one star part. As mixed parts, assuming full capped, you can honestly use him pretty much just about anywhere very easily, and his head and legs in particular very easily will fit into any high-end meta team and very high-end competitive because they fit so well together. And full charge by itself, you generally will never ever go wrong with when it comes to using him on, pure, on Meta Force Reliant Nukers. Um, the only major weakness Cross has at this point going forward, of course, is the fact that both his arms are heavy, which makes using him just a little bit tricky but not impossible. His new pure set score very easily is an 8 out of 10, given that even though one of his other big weaknesses he can't ignore is the fact you kind of have to choose whether you want to go shooting or melee, Cross's well-rounded well balance not just as a pure set pre-tune-up but also post-tune-up, especially post-tune-up, allows him to serve very very faithfully anywhere no matter which role you give him, whether that be melee or whether that be shooting. And as mixed parts score, absolutely hands down 10 out of 10 must have must raise even if he is very expensive to raise as a one star he is someone you absolutely will not be sorry raising because the incredible balances that he gives the bonuses that he offers for full charge of his legs and in the rare case you do decide to use them charge blade and charge buster also are definitely forces to be reckoned with especially with that charge modifier that cross now has access to